Climax. This is where it all happens, man. In a couple of weeks, thousands of hard star lovers will be around here, enjoying Climax. Me, myself, will be playing here at the stage over there. Amazing, amazing. I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, well, um, how am I and what am I doing these days? Well. Of course, what am I doing these days? Preparing a lot for Climax. How am I doing? Yeah, very well. Um, I think if you realize that you're playing on Climax in, in, uh, in several weeks and you get the opportunity to get 25,000 people dancing and to do your own thing, your own music, uh, you can only feel well. This is, this is um, such a great moment in my career. Um, this, is, this, this will be absolutely one of the highlights for me in my personal life and DJ career, both, both the same. So I'm feeling uh, pretty well. Um, besides music, what do I do besides music? Well, um, I used to do a lot uh, in the internet business, um, you know, making websites, uh, doing graphical things, just uh, as a hobby and, and, uh, and a profession at the same time. Uh, but I've uh, stopped that recently. Uh, for me, the most important thing at the moment is, is music. Um, but besides music, yes, yeah, sometimes um, I play some sports, uh, sometimes I play a game on the, on, on the video console, or I just uh, s surf on the internet. Um, it's just just everything what I do is um, is always connected to a computer. What did I feel the, the moment they called me and they told me I, I would be playing on Climax? Well, it's it's one of those feelings you can't describe. It's 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 there's, there's a sudden rush coming into you, um, which which you only experience in your lifetime a few times, I think at least, because I've, I've never experienced something like this before. My whole body started shaking, you know? You, you realize that you will be playing for 25,000 people at that same very moment that they tell you that you will play there. It's uh, absolutely a dream come true. Um, and uh, it, 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 it makes you feel really happy. Um, and the day after, you already feel the tension on your shoulders, um, the, the pressure on your shoulders, um, because you realize that you have to perform and you have to do well. So, um, yeah, it's a great feeling. It's, um, it's amazing. Uh, the moment the lineup was released um, with the website of, of Q Dance, of Climax, um, a lot of people on the internet wrote real positive about me. They were really happy that I finally get the chance to play there. Um, this really means a lot to me, of course, um, but I, I, I think I, I can explain that, of course, because from the moment Climax got really big, uh, let's say in 2003, uh, when it came to uh, t -Alf, I believe, in Hero um, from that year, every year, my music has been played by several DJs. Every year, somebody dropped a track of mine, which I produced. And um, that's one of the reasons why I think I, 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 a lot of people uh, were e eager to see me perform at Climax myself. If, if another DJ plays your track, why not play it yourself? If you, if you, um, if you can DJ and play, of course. But um, yeah, that, that means a lot to me. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people are really happy to see me. And um, I, can, I can tell you one thing, I won't let them down. Uh, because uh, this is this is a, a chance of a lifetime, and I will I will definitely rock the climb or climax show uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, yeah, I'm. Uh, I was one of the first artists in the in the Scandrick roster as it is now. Uh, five years ago, I had my first release. Um, since that period, I yeah. Like, like you told me, I, I had a, a lot of good releases and, and hits on, um, on Scandrix like Drummer Beat, Veritas, uh, Perfected, Talk Is Tomorrow, etc. Um, a lot of people ask me, 
if I will do an album. Why, why, why don't I do uh, produce an album? Um, I don't know why I keep getting that question. Is it, is it normal to do an album? It's a choice. It's, it's one of the uh, things you can do to promote yourself and promote your music. Um, for me, that, uh, that, that, that's not an option right now, because uh, I first want to, um, to improve my sound. Not, not to improve my sound, but to, uh, to find my sound a little bit more before I want to do a complete album. Because um, I want to do something in which, in a couple of years, I still can say, okay, that, that was good. I don't want it to do it in a rush or a, uh, um, uh, too sudden. And so maybe in the future, who knows, but for, for me now it's just important to find my sound, to improve my sound, to uh, get my sound uh, out in the world and um, an album is just something just for the future, not, uh, not, uh, not for now. In a few weeks my new, uh, new vinyl will be released on, on Scantrax. It will be a four tracker with uh, four complete different uh, tracks on it. Um, in, in a way the tracks are different than my previous releases. Um, I get that from a lot of people. Um, the question why, I, I don't know because that's just something which happens. You're in the studio and you're uh, producing a track and sometimes it changes a little bit. Actually my style always changes, that's why I'm active for five years already as a producer. If you listen to my releases in 2003 and you compare them to what I did this year or last year, they are completely different. So as a producer you have to realize that um, the, the sound changes, the hard cell sound changes. Whether you like that or not, whether you're a fan of the old hard cell or the new hard cell, the sound changes and you have to deal with that or do it better yourself. And for me, uh, as a producer, as Illusion, my sound is changing again with this vinyl. Um, um, but in a way, the vinyl is totally different uh, in itself. I mean, the track Blue Fairy is a little bit my old style, you know, with the, the, the drama, drama beat-ish uh, kicks, etc. And the tracks Visual Perception and No Regrets both have uh, um, a little bit more 2009 feeling. So. It's just an, 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 an evolution you go through as a producer. So that's why the sound is, is different than my, uh, than my uh, last final. A couple of weeks ago I played with uh, DJ Luna on Exclusive Holland and um, yeah, a lot of people liked what we did and um, what, what, I, what my feeling about the party was is what, that was, uh, it was simply amazing. Um, all the fun during the night, uh, all the extra attention from the DJs and to the DJs, all the at extra attention to the show, to the visuals, and all the people, the party people dressing up. Uh, all in their own way, um, all connected to the Dutch culture and habits. I think it was simply brilliant. Um, it's one of those parties you will never forget. Uh, I mean, look at the photos, look at the, the videos. It's, it's simply amazing. And that, that feeling, the, the, the pleasure which all the people experienced, I think the DJs experienced the same. I can, I can speak for, for Luna and, and, and me if I, if, we say that we, if I say that we really, really enjoyed. And, um, yeah, therefore I, I, can o I can only hope that something like that uh, ever occurs again, that the party will get a, a second, second edition, just like it was now, but yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, the, um, the collaboration between Luna and me um, is quite remarkable. Um, a lot of people um, had questions about, okay, how will this be? Um, how can this be? How can those styles blend? Well, I can, I can pretty much have an explanation for that. Um, Luna and me are both DJs who can play anything. We are not hooked to one style. Some DJs can only play one style and if they play something different, it's like, oh, that set was shit, you know? But we both can play any track. We can tra play a track from any producer. That's what we do. We can play in the beginning of the evening or at the end of the party. 
So in that way, our styles, styles could perfectly blend together. And um, while well, we spoke about the party, of course, our performance, we, um, we of course thought about our collaboration. And you never know how it works out in the studio. But um, the moment we got together, we just had a connection uh, and we combined his ideas with my um, studio and skills and we both created the track We Are Back. It's a pretty hard track, um, I think a lot of people are not used to that. Um, I did some tracks, some harder tracks in the, in, the, in the past of course and I will do some in the future but um, I think this only makes uh, or expl uh, shows what I can do in the studio. If it, if it has to be hard, I can be hard, it's no problem. And that's why we created the We Are The Backtrack, it has a little bit of an uh, early hardstyle feeling with the reverse bass and, uh, and the, uh, the arrangement because it's different than, than other tracks. Um, and the, 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 the full part, um, the, the climax part is, 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 is pretty hard and uh, that's of course mainly the influence of, of, of DJ Luna because uh, yeah, he liked it that way and then I think it's a good collaboration. But the funny thing is, well, not funny, and um, it's a bit of a pity, uh, actually. Um, most people, no, nobody ever heard the real best part of the track. So, um, because we had to stop the show, we had to stop the, our, our performance um, a, a minute too early. Um, but I can only say, come to one of Luna's or my performances in the future, and, and you'll probably hear the track, or maybe a B-side, so. Let's, uh, let's see what it brings. Do I work on, on different genres as well? Yeah, of, of course. Sometimes I try something, but uh, for me, um, hard style takes up all my time um, because what, what I do, I want to do best. So therefore, I, I, um, I take up all my time to make a hard style production. But sometimes I try something really small just to get the focus on a different genre. But um, for me, in my hard software productions, I always try to, to have a little bit influence of those other genres. And with that I mean uh, the rhythms or um, maybe the way a melody is used. Not, not the same sounds, but more the, the arrangement, the idea. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why my productions always are a little bit different from all the other produ uh, producers. Um, but yeah, in the future I will definitely uh, do uh, other, st other genres as well, but not under my own name. I will get a totally new name for that. So keep your eyes and ears, ears open. Yeah, um, in 2001, uh, just like, uh, like we uh, talked about, um, I was a visitor. And now, um, eight years later, 2009, I'm actually playing there. Um, and it makes me think of, of, of what what will I do on the party? How will I perform? What can I do? What do I want? When is something? When is my performance uh, a success? Well, to me, um, the performance is, is a success if I get all, all the people dancing. Of course, it's obvious. But um, a real important thing to me as well is that I can get my sound out, that people will enjoy and get used to the things I produce in my studio. That's one of the reasons why. Uh, from the moment I knew I would be playing in Climax, I'm preparing every day. Um, I'm, uh, I'm every day in the studio, getting up early, uh, going to bed late, um, just to make sure that I can play the right tracks, which sound the right way for this Climax event. Well, on, on Climax there will be a lot of um, uh, foreign uh, visitors. And first of all, I want to thank you all for that because it's, it's such, an, such an amazing uh, thing to see people from, from Australia, uh, UK, uh, Switzerland, Denmark, Germany, France, uh, everywhere. Um, and I think it's a good, it's a good, uh, good thing because in this way, um, it, open, it open up, opens up doors for, for future performances. It, open, it opens up the uh, door for hardstyle throughout the world. Um, I can only hope, and we're working on that of course really hard, to make hardstyle a worldwide success. Um, it's a sound, it's a music style which um, can, uh, can, um, 
can be enjoyed by a lot of people, a lot of uh, cultures. Um, it, it can go worldwide, so I really hope that uh, in, in a couple of years I will be flying from city to city, from country to country, just to do my thing and to enjoy all the people around the world with uh, the unique hardstyle sound, which which was born actually, of course, in, in, in Holland with uh, the club tempo uh, and, and, and climax parties. How do I see the future of Kentberg's hardstyle illusion, etc.? Well, as I just said, I want I want to make a world uh, worldwide for myself. You know, to create a sound which uh, a lot of people like, and um, I think I think it can grow really big. Uh, what we see now uh, with the, the parties in, in Australia and the, the, the Q Dance and Scantrax tours throughout Europe, um, it's, it's just amazing to see. And I think it can grow really big because all the artists uh, really wanted to big, be big as well. The organizations wanted to be big. And all the people from all those countries, they're asking us, when do you come to our country? When do you come to our country? Please come to us, have a Scantrax swap tour in our country. And I think, I think that's amazing. So I definitely see big potential for the future for a label such as uh, Scantrax Record and for me as an artist from Scantrax Record uh, in, in um, bringing the hard style worldwide. Okay, yeah, um, what, do I want to, what do I want to say to the audience? Um, well, first of all, I hope you'll all come to Climax. Those of you who got a ticket, amazing, great. Um, make sure you see my whole performance. Um, I will be definitely be kicking the bass with a lot of new tracks, edits. Um, it will be one hour of total madness. Make sure you don't miss it. And um, I will be around all night, walking around. So if you see me, just come to me and we'll have a chat. No problem. I like that. And um, yeah, I see you all on the 21st of November on Climax here in the Galrenau.